actually had the 7800X3D for a while, but what I have right now is the 7500F because I sold it because I couldn't afford uh, building the whole system together. I've had a lot of problems lately. So hey, if you want to support me, press on that like button and check out the links in the description if you are interested in any of the PC parts mentioned. And without wasting any further ado, let's get to the CPU. You know what it is, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. The reason I really love this CPU, this is an 8 core 16 threaded CPU that you can get from AliExpress for $320. It's got the 3DV cache capabilities, it's the highest and the best gaming AM5 CPU on the market, it's the fastest gaming CPU on the market right now. It will not bottleneck our GPU. And I don't think that the difference between this gen X3D high-end chip and the next gen X3D high-end chip being the 9900 X3D, I don't think the difference is that huge. So you're not missing out on anything and you are getting it for a really competitive price, $320 from AliExpress. The board we're looking at the Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite ATX uh, board. And uh, I love this board because it's a pretty sturdy, pretty durable board. It will last as long as the AM5 lifespan would last, you know, it will support all the next gen CPUs. It's got solid VRMs in case any of the next gen CPUs are consuming more power. RAM, we're looking at 32 gigabytes of DDR or 5, 6,000 or even 6,400 megahertz RAM. So there are two different models. It depends on really what you can afford and what you find more appealing to you. I don't think that there is that much difference between both. But when it comes to the RAM capacity itself, 32 gigs is more than enough. It will get the job done, of course. The SSD, we're looking at a 2 terabyte uh, NV2 um, Gen 4 SSD. I love Gen 4 SSDs and I feel like 2 terabyte is the way to go for a high-end gaming PC like that. You know, you are going to play at 1440p, you are going to get playing at 4K. So having a 2 terabyte SSD, I feel like is an okay solution or an even excellent solution in my opinion. GPU, you know what it is. We're looking at the store. Um, my, in my opinion, the fastest GPU and the most well-deservingly <laughs> one of the bunch, uh, the RTX 4080 Super from Zotac. It goes for, uh, for I believe, 900-ish, $980, something in that territory. Uh, it's in white, so it complements the whole PC just fine. Add in some teal custom sleeved cables and a really good RGB anti sag, and you're good to go for the whole aesthetically pleasing look of the PC. I love it, I really love it. The RTX 4080 Super is the fastest consumer grade GPU. I'm not gonna talk about the 4090. Uh, comparable to the 7900 XTX, when it comes to rasterization, it's there, it's not that far at all. It's got 8 gigabytes less VRM, of course, the 16 versus 24 gigabytes, but other than that, it's the same performance. It's got the LSS3, it's got the NVIDIA capabilities. If you're doing things next to gaming, you have to have an NVIDIA GPU for something like Blender, for example. It's just more supported on NVIDIA GPUs. So all in all, a really good choice in my opinion, and uh, I would never go wrong with that one. But if you are an AMD fan, the XTX is there, but I'm just, I'm just all in NVIDIA for now, at least. Uh, when it comes to the high end and you can check out the best gpu cpu combos of 2024 you'll find me you know praising amd when it comes to the budget side but when it comes to the high end i feel like nvidia actually are winning there but by a slight advantage as for the case we're looking at the nzxt h5 flow rgb now this was on sale for 80 dollars i don't know if it changed or not but it was for 80 dollars even if it went back to the regular price it's still a really good case that's got good ventilation and it's got the right dimensions you know the gpu it's a triple fan gpu but it will fit in the whole system just fine when it comes to the power supply we're looking at the c sonic 1000 watt 80 plus gold rated fully modular power supply it gets the job done 1000 watts is more than enough you can also upgrade to whatever you want in the future i don't think that this will hold you back so yeah if you like it press the like button if you want to see more videos of that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace